Hello, uh, today we're going to create a rotating cube in OpenGL where we left off last time was with a polygon not really true because we left off with a textured quad and actually implemented OpenGL uh, in the game but that was just for 2D so we're going to make 3D cube now and we're going to start from this uh, position with, with, with this uh, triangle, with this polygon so I have the program, it initializes OpenGL and the OpenGL utility library. It sets the display mode, we want double buffering and RGB. Set the name on the window, set the size, set the display function and jumps in to the main executing logic, the main loop. Each time the main loop needs to draw the screen, it's going to call display function, it's going to clear the color buffer going to say that we want to draw a polygon, going to put three colors and three vertexes, which is these corners here, the coordinates of, of, of each of these um, corners, going to say that we end, going to flush the data down to the graphics card and then I'm going to ask OpenGL to swap buffers. So first we're going to do is to remove some part of this. I will keep that actually. Remove this other part. We, go, we need a rectangle instead of because uh, cubes, uh, from my what I remember, are kind of uh, they are not uh, triangle. They are kind of cube-like, right? Rectangles. So I will create a smaller one than what we had before, just because minus one one is going to be um, too big. So there we go, uh, and then let's just figure out where we should put the minus signs. Let's pick up the drawing tool again. So we have uh, x. Y and Z. And Z we didn't uh, uh, deal with at all last time, but this time we need to deal with it. So we need to draw our rectangle. So we start in one corner, and that's minus 5, minus 5. Let's put minus 5 on all of these, coming to Y, but we need our rectangle first. Minus 5 to minus 5. And then we go to 5 minus 5. And then we go to 5, 5. And then we go to minus 5, 5. So we have a rectangle with minus 5, minus 5, there, and then we have is that correct? Yeah, yeah it is. That's the next one. And then zero five zero five. Let's see, do I have a color I haven't used? There we go. Uh, this last the sub component. Uh, is the depth of, of, of it. We don't really see it, so I can set it to anything I, I like. I'm gonna set it to 0, 05, because I like 0, 05. That's all. And let's run this. And wonderful. <laughs> we, we're getting very far here. So let's start with actually doing this 
3D. So we're going to rotate and we're going to rotate uh, two degrees around axis 110. And then we're going to pause the redisplay. So it will redraw. Redisplay. Where is the A? This is what happens when you are word blind. Um, so it should rotate, it doesn't rotate, that annoys me. Should rotate. I'm an idiot. So we're going to rotate it two degrees and we're going to rotate about about the x and y axis, so uh, diagonal rotation. And there we go, something rotating. I mean, I already see the cube, I'm not sure you do, but I do see that that could be a cube. But we need a few more sides, so the first one, we already done side one, and let's jump uh, to side two. And let's change the color so we actually can distinguish them. And now it will actually make sense why I put uh, minus 0 0.5 here. Because I just removed the minus part and I have offset the, the plane with, with one. So now we have two planes rotating around each other. And now you can almost see that it's going to be a cube, this one. We co I can copy both of them. We need, we need both of them. Oh, no. So now we're going to make the next uh, side of the cube. Let's uh, change the color of it. And to make, you notice the, the first one here, we have a square defined here. That actually should be a GL quads. Not really polygon. So we have a square defined, and then we just have an offset on Z. And here we have the same coordinates, but a different offset on Z. We need to do the same on the two other axes. So we just need to move this offset into one of these other X or Y positions. So let's put it on the first uh, column here. So let's make the x the, the sta static one and the other two the coordinates that moves around so now we're moving around in, in a different plane and then just copy this down here and we offset that plane instead of minus uh, 0 0.5 with just plus 0, 0.5 and I should have changed uh, one green to be a dark green so I actually can see which side is which we'll do that there we go, I'll run it and now we are very close to having a cube just take this again um, we're going to work on the last plane which uh, will be the yeah it's hard to think coding and talking at the same time so I need to switch between one and another <laughs> in my brain so the last plane we, we need to work at and um, that means that we should put this minus fives in the middle and there's our coordinates. I'm gonna just push in the minus fives here. I remove the minuses. 
we offset the plane different. And here we got a very psychedelic cube. Looks like something from the fourth dimension. We will fix that. The reason it behaves like this is because it doesn't know uh, where to draw or where not to draw uh, the Z. So the, this last one will always draw. And that one, if that happens to draw over this one, it will do so. And that one will draw over that one and so on and so on. This first one will probably be drawn over by anything. And if this happens to be the plane facing us, that will not look like that. It will be just overdrawn by everything else. So you can say that the Z coordinate isn't really used here, um, or isn't really useful or correct. So we, we need to enable uh, Z buffering. And that we do down here, here in Enable GL Depth, I think it's called. We will soon see. I uh, copy that. And we go up here and on the clear, we need to clear uh, the other bit also. So we need to clear the GL Depth Buffer bit. There we go. And execute this. That didn't work. Uh, what did I type? Uh, that seems fine. And we have it's called depth test. And something is still wrong because that's not how it's supposed to be looking. Okay, um, let's try to move the enable to after we created the window. There we go. So we have a rotating cube. And uh, now you can also make rotating cubes in OpenGL. Uh, the code, a link to code will be in the description. So enjoy.